Check the beard. What up team, lovely to have you aboard. Today we're going to talk about type checking your JavaScript. Now in the last video, I talked about modules and imports and all that good stuff. If you've not seen it, check that out. Now, one of the things that came out of the comments was that TypeScript isn't exactly the right fit for everyone. And that is true, but we can also use it for type checking our JavaScript. And I thought I'd show you that. So let's just jump on over and I'm gonna show you that. All right, so what I've got on my screen is a terminal. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just go git checkout dash B, I'm gonna call it JSTS. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna um, move the source just temporarily over to uh, a source old folder there. And then I'm just gonna make a brand new uh, source folder. And inside that, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna create JavaScript today. So let's make an index.js. And we're also gonna make uh, maybe a util folder. And we'll put our clamp JS in there. So if you remember from the last video, we had the clamp function, which we're just gonna go and uh, reuse from over here. I'm just going to grab that. I'm going to paste it. Mm -hmm. And because it's JavaScript, we don't need the type annotations anymore. So that can go. So that's all fine. I'll just collapse that down. And in our index, let's do import clamp from utils clamp.js. And then let's just console.log clamp 1, 10, 100. Now you'll see here, if we just go back, if I just put in this, you'll see at the moment it says value is any, uh, min it thinks is a number, and max it thinks is a number. And it's figured that out based on just the values that I've defaulted to in clamp.js. And clamp itself, this value at the start is an any. So what we can do is we can uh, head over to our tsconfig JSON file. Now there are a few things that we need to do here to make this work. We're gonna allow JavaScript in our project and we're also gonna tell the TypeScript compiler that we'd like to check JavaScript as well. Now the problem with that is that we've actually got quite a lot of JavaScript that's outside the source folder. For example, the rollup config JS, uh, the Karma one, uh, the stuff that's in the coverage report. So what we need to do is we need to actually exclude those from our type checking. What I can also do is I can say that I'd like you to start inside of source, please, when you're going through my files. And you can already see that it's decided there's a problem with clamp.js, which we'll come to in a moment. Now, let's go over here. And what we're going to do is we're going to start excluding some stuff that we know we definitely don't want. So we know we don't want the coverage. We won't want any dist folder that's made. We won't want uh, anything that's star dot whoop star forward slash star.js. That's what I meant to do. Right, let's have a look at that. Now, the other thing is that our current uh, package JSON doesn't have any type checking. So we can add a specific task just to say, I want you to type check my JavaScript. I don't want you to do anything else. I want you to type check it. And that's about it. So what we do, type check. And we can just call the TypeScript compiler. And we can add this no emit flag on that. And what it's going to do with the no emit flag, it's going to do all the TypeScript checking of the JavaScript, but it's not actually going to write out any files. So we can leave our build pipeline completely alone, do what we always do. But here we can just use the TypeScript compiler just to check the types of the JavaScript. All right, so let's run that and see what we get. So if we do npm run uh, type check, and I'm expecting this to fail, to be honest, um, I'll probably want to have caught everything on my way through. Yep, it's failed, and if nothing else, okay, yeah, it's decided that there's a problem with clamp, which to be fair, VS Code had already pointed out to us early on with the file going red here. And the reason is, we've not actually told uh, VS Code or the TypeScript compiler uh, what value actually is, and it's an any, which means it's sort of, well, it's anything. And as far as this is concerned, well, it's not, it's actually a number. We know that, and what we can do is we can fix it by putting in some JS doc. So it's forward slash star star, which is the way to start one of these. And if you hit enter, VS Code's gonna automatically fill out the params for you. Uh, and we can say here that value is a number, and min is a number, and max is a number. Now, it did already figure that out uh, for min and max earlier based on what we actually set those to, but it's always good to be uh, very clear, and we can also do things like clamps values between min and max. 
like so. So when we import it over here in the index, you can see that when we roll over clamp, it tells us that we have a value number, min, max number, and that's exactly the same kind of stuff we'd have got from the TypeScript, but we're just doing it with our JavaScript. And if we actually set this to something like one as a string, it's going to warn us. It's going to say, I'm sorry, you can't really do that. The argument of type one, it's not assignable to number. All good. So getting rid of that, we can now come back down here. We can run our NPM type check. Yeah, and you see how we are completely home and dry all good. Now, if there's some JavaScript you don't want to include in here, all you need to do is you just add it in to your TS config at the bottom into that exclude down there. You say, I don't want you to cover something in my source. Um, the thing to bear in mind with that is even if you do do that and you import it somewhere else, it's still going to check that the thing you import is workable but I include it in case it's of use to you. So there you have it. That is how you add type checking to your JavaScript files without actually using TypeScript and without it even writing any files to the file system. So for the people in the comments who don't like TypeScript, hopefully you'll find a use for something like this. So I'll include the link in the description below in case you want more information on type checking your JavaScript with the TypeScript compiler, because I personally find this stuff useful. It's always nice to know that you've got options, you know? And that my friends is how it's done. Done, see ya.